Ooh. Oh yeah. Welcome to Buckeyes and Friends. Shuffle up and stay a while. <laughs> Here we go. Hello again, Buckeye and Friends. Here we are, round six. Probably by the time y'all hear this, I'll be playing my game against Vern. It's scheduled 30 minutes from when I start this recording. Um, So, we down to the last three people, me, Vern, and Earl. Wait, this works? The winner, me and Vern, will play Earl, and we'll have to be Earl twice to be the champion. So, one of the three of us will win it also. This may be the last episode, or we may have two left. We may have three left. Only time will tell. So, as you look at the bracket, you can see how the tournament has progressed. Um, I'm still trying to come out the loser bracket, and Vern, of course, is trying to stop that from happening. So, let's go to the deck profiles and stuff and move along. So for this, I have bear tournament. You 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 draft two MCs, and the two MCs you drafted will be the only MCs you play against this tournament. So I chose to pick um, Mayor Wilkinson and Ego. Um, they photo. I'm very familiar with photo, so I feel like if I want to play um, against the MCs in the format I'm most familiar with. And secondly, both of these MCs um, give you time because neither one of them can attack to at least turn four or five. So. Whatever um, MC your opponent give you, you can set up while, while they trying to level up. So, um, I'm not going to even try to guess which one Vern is going to play. So, I'm kind of preparing my deck for both. Um, probably not the best approach, but we'll see how the deck looks. So, Vern 2 MC, he's led a piece, so I will have priority in our game. But he have Rachel Summers and the Perfect Organism. Um, both these MCs, I mean... Are equally bad in my opinion. Um, Rachel Summers do have some game. Perfect organisms, everything go right. Have some game, but in general, it just seems like we have better options with them. I I had never built a deck for neither one of these two um MCs, but let's see which one I will not be playing against this week in the tournament, and that will be Rachel Summers. Um, so recap of what Rachel Summers do do. Um, she's Eggman team affiliated. 2, 4, 5 health with flight and range. And on level 1, she could be powered up well, on either level. She could be powered up by either Phoenix, Dark Phoenix, or well, by her card, of course, and then Phoenix and Dark Phoenix. And then her level up condition, born from the Phoenix Force. When Rachel Summer character need each of the fallen. So whenever she gets powered up by the title, a card that titled Phoenix, Dark Phoenix or Rachel Summer. So I need to power her up with each of the three um support characters was you know if you draw them early she's great if you don't draw them you in for a long day um level two um she get two new well she go to a six six still got flight and range she get two new power so you could discard a phoenix or a dark phoenix to generate a power symbol to use her power and then um a second um power daughter phoenix she could use any yellow power on any other phoenix or dark phoenix character so for the people who don't have all the car memorized, I put them over in the corner, all the powers that we have access to. So we had a support character, Phoenix, that could pay yellow. And the defender character can't be struck this combat, any combat power. Um, she have a, the main character, Phoenix, which is on level 1, level 2. But she could heal a wound from a support character. And then she have the Dark Phoenix, um, level 1, level 2, yellow power. That she could pay two yellows to put the top two card of the deck in the resource roll if the location turn it face up. So, them are the powers she have access to. So let's go on to the deck. So first we're gonna start with location. Um, we got yellows. We got a lot of yellow. Um, we have Wakandas in this deck. We have um Jersey City and School of the Gifted. So I know you probably want to um why Jersey City um. So I'm trying to um, get off with the Black Widow combo. I go in more um, content when I get to that car, but um, I feel that combo will help me a lot in this match if I'm able to pull it off early. So um, so we have how many locations in this? 12, 15 locations. And then we have the power up. So so Phoenix and Dark Phoenix both could, can be played as support characters. Um, not together, but individually. Of course, Rachel Summer is always going to be just a power up. Um, my biggest concern is playing against the photo deck and, um, 
he having faces as soon as I discard, which I have to the level. He could just remove one of them, and I can never play them again as character. So, I mean, of course, Dark Phoenix helped with the mirror, um, where I could remove the concept of plot twist from the game, and then the parallel dimension um, plot twist will go away. But, so yeah, I don't plan on seeing these on the field as characters, but if I do, Dark Phoenix should be able to help, and we'll move along. So my um, level one support character, I got Iceman for freezing and a team attacker with Rachel Summers, especially if I'm playing against Eagle. And then I have powerful drawing cards because, like I said, you have to see those power-ups. So to see them, you need to be drawing cards. The two drop in Miss Marvel. Um, as I said, I don't think the um, Dark Phoenix and um, Phoenix support character are gonna make it long. So I have power-ups for her. So whenever you um this card a um, card from your hand so you get the attack and defense of equal to that character base attack so I could boost up to a 10 15 or a 7 7 um, from turn 2 if I have them in the card and already have done the level of condition for one of those characters okay I have Fang Leviathan that's strictly for the mayor he come in he put a wound on the unwounded character with the mayor with only one help will always be unwounded and then finally Black Widow so if you if you put Black Widow in with the Aya Aga model, she gets to see the opponent's hand. And when you trigger her spy game ability, you'll be discarding your opponent's whole hand because you won't be guessing what they have. You'll be looking at the card. Um, so I do have the Aya Aga model, and that's why I got the four Wakandas because if I could get this combo off early, I could stop Star Lord from entering his hand. So now Ego can't level, and I could also get the Pale Lord of Mensen if I. If, of course, if this haven't happened by turn three, so that's the um, just there. Um, I had Gwenpool. Um, like I said, you need to see certain cards to get Rachel's level. Um, just in case I'm missing it and I get the Gwenpool, um, I could put her out, and when I power up Rachel, some I'll be able to get two XP off of one power up because whenever she get an XP, she'll get another one. So that why Gwenpool in the deck. I know we don't see much of her. Um. But I think in this case, it'll be a bit handy for me. So she's in the deck. Iron Fist, this is mainly for the mayor, but he's just a great character in general. I mean, he won the characters. I mean, you ain't never put him in the deck and somebody told you this is the wrong character. I mean, he make dreams happen and that's what he is. I mean, we should just call him the dream maker. But here we have Iron Fist. I mean, to be able to stun the 30-30 in um, straight up combat, you can't pass that up. Seven drop, I have Shadow King. So, um, some of the photo, um, support character, like if you play in America, you may have the Eagle, or he may have, um, Captain Marvel to fly over and hit my main. So, um, Shadow King is just to kind of eliminate some support character that may be problematic. Um, attached to a character, and then along that character there at the end of the turn, you choose to KO a permanently support character. And finally, my eight drop. I went back to Fal um, Falcon. So, um, against the mayor, when he attacked the mayor, he'll become he'll get pluses until he's a thirty-three, thirty-three. Cause I mean, he and like I said, both his main got superpowers on their second level. So when he's swinging in, he'll get the boost. Um, yeah, I mean, I do have to worry about ego, but that's just one card that hopefully, um, once Falcon come in, he'll just get the job done and then hopefully the game coming to the end at that point equipment um the nullifier book of Fasanti, of course the obvious two for good characters and then like i said i got the eye in here just for black widow so when i pull off that combo i could force him to discard his whole hand and finally plot twist this global information because like i said i need to draw cars and ideally with this i need to be drawing particular cars so that's the deck here for Rachel Summers. Um, if I not playing this deck, but if I was, that's the deck I would be running. Um, like I said, if you've been still making it through watching these deck profile, watching these games, thank you again for watching. Um, appreciate that. And um, yeah, we'll be seeing the perfect organism coming up next. Um, of course, and then after that, I'll be playing the game, and you'll be seeing that video as well. So thank you for watching. Have a good day, good night, and good everything. Peace.